I'm with Tio Deshev, the CEO of Mondoro Capital. So Tio, talk to us about Mondoro and your business strategy. Absolutely. Mondoro is an exploration focused company. Uh, we are focused on the western portion of the Tethian Belt, which is Eastern Europe. Uh, Eastern Europe is an ev an evolving and up and coming jurisdiction. Uh, it's obviously changed over since the 90s and basically what we're seeing now because of um, a few interesting discoveries in the region, that there's been um, a re-emergence of the majors and the mid-tier producers going back into this region. And what's really great for Manduro is because we got there in 2011, uh, we got in and staked a tremendously interesting ground package uh, that we've been developing in the sense that we've been building up the data set creating drill targets, testing some of those targets, and have now made a couple of discoveries within our land package. So we're excited that we're in a jurisdiction that is safe, it's um, good geopolitical risk, and there is the majors around that are hunting for resources, and uh, I think that's a good opportunity for investors. Right, so you're, you're generating value for shareholders. Yes. So how, how can we rely on, on Mondoro of, for, for shareholders? Yes, um, so we have about five million of cash in the company, right. and our market cap is around 10 million, so about five million of enterprise value. So what's really important in the exploration sector is that you have a company that has the cash and the ability to execute on the strategy. Mm -hmm. So this year we have a budget um, ourselves of two million, which could possibly do about 8,000 to 10,000 meters of drilling. Uh, so that's a good amount of drilling over a 12 month cycle. And on top of that, we have a partnership with JOGMEC, which is the Japanese state owned uh, exploration investment fund. And that fund is going to be investing $2 million uh, into a part of our package. So we've got our own $2 million and an investment from JOGMEC as well. So that's a lot of exploration dollars going directly into the ground, which is again another good opportunity for shareholders. Right, and what is your objective here at the uh, at the uh, Vancouver Resource Investment Conference? Well, it's really to get the word out. So we really enjoy uh, groups like yours that ha help get that uh, information out into the marketplace. I think it's, it's difficult for retail investors to try and filter through companies. There's 2,000 of them that are traded in Canada alone. And I think it's important to try and find the right channels and the right avenues so that shareholders can understand what we're doing and does it meet their profile right. and then really get them to get engage with us. Right, very good. Now when you're picking a mineral project or a company mm -hmm. to invest in or to focus on, what are some common factors that you look for? For my own personal portfolio? Sure, yeah. <laughs> I, to be honest with you, it's really important for me, um, jurisdiction is right. one, because there can be some tremendously good assets in tremendously bad jurisdictions, and you don't need that extra layer of risk. So that's one thing that's very important. Um, good jurisdiction, really good management teams, and I don't mean just the CEO, I'm talking about, I actually want to know who's on the ground exploring. What kind of experience do they have in their own jurisdiction? So the exploration technical team, a good jurisdiction, do they have cash to actually follow through on what they're promising. Those things are important, so um, I think we fit the profile for that. Uh, so I would certainly invest in Mondoro, as I have, and uh, I think there's some interesting companies here. Very good, well thank you so much for your time, Tio. You're welcome. <laughs> to learn more about Mondoro, you can go to mondoro.com. I'm Rachel Lee for Small Cat Power.